What is up guys, Freak Tactics here again with another Diablo 3 guide. But this guide is for the Demon Hunter. In this guide I'll be being, going over the M6 build, or as other people call it, the 6 piece Marauders. What does this set do? Well, you just throw sentries down, stand away at a distance, being on your toes, shooting cluster arrows at your enemies, bada boom bada bing. Unlike my DMO wizard guide, where you smack them in the dick from up close, instead you stand at a distance and you shoot their dicks off. Like, it's pretty fun. There are a few key items that you'll need to make this build work and to keep you alive and do a significant amount of more DPS, such as the Wraps of Clarity, Manticore, Bombier's Rucksack, Zoe's Secret, which is a newly added belt for this season, and other items that I'll go that I'll get into in the itemization part of this video. So, what may you ask what makes this build good? Uh, your sentries and cluster arrows do an insane amount of damage when you're lined up with conventional elements, vengeance, and wolf companion buff. As well as stacking sentries on your target instead of away from them. But because they do so much damage, they also take a lot of damage. So you have to watch out for the littlest of things so you don't get one shot. Demon hunters have always had the problem of getting sniped by anything and dying instantly. Even if it's a skeletal archer shooting a single arrow, it'll just knock you straight off the map. But I'll go over that and other ways of how you to try and not get one shot later. So let's get into the abilities and other stuff. Now I'm kind of going to commentate of what's going on here in the rest of this rift. Now this is a 65. I recently, you know, was just farming on my wizard, started doing group play. I was asking people, hey, if you don't need anything for Demon Hunter, just drop it for me. And, you know, thankfully enough, I got the six piece Marauder and I crafted the Manticore. It was ancient and it was GG. I was like, all right. I really like the Demon Hunter. It was what I first played in the vanilla Demon when Vanilla Diablo came out. Let's try let's try and go back to it. So as you saw there, I stood at a distance, laid my sentries down, and just a bull pulverized that rear pack. And as you can see, I'm just constantly seeing at a distance, but I didn't react fast enough to that to that meteor and I just got one shot. And that was just me because I was just tunnel visioning, I wasn't really paying attention. And that's what happens when when you tunnel vision and stuff, you just die. And you're gonna see here in a minute, I get hit by one one little thing. My awareness proc, the one small little mortar hit me and I die instantly. Just one, just one little mortar hit me. I'm constantly moving. I stop for just about a couple seconds and I die. As you saw there, just boom. I think it's the last time I die this rift because I was like, all right, we're done dying. Time to put my big boy pants on. We're gonna finish this rift without dying. Like I said before, you just want to lay your sentries down. You want to stay at a distance. You stay at a distance because they're using the Zai's Vengeance Gem. So for every percent, for every 10 yards between me and the target, you gain a certain amount of damage depending on the level of your gem. Now you're probably asking why are we using Polar Sentry instead of like something else like Spitfire or Guardian? Well, the the polar sentry gives us the chill and slowing effect which is going to proc the cool of the week which is a 20% damage increase whenever a target is slowed or chilled so I'll probably go with that there I'm just kind of wandering around I hate this rift it drops my frames really bad uh, and it's just rough like I don't know where to go sometimes it's at the bottom left sometimes it's at the top right sometimes it's on the bottom right I don't know it's just so stupid can never really know where it's at. So I'm just tumbling along, trying to make my way. Do it doing pretty good on time. This is my first 65 rift. I think I'm doing pretty good. You know, just staying at a distance, shooting them away. Now I could have done more damage there if I would have put a sentry at the top of those stairs, but I didn't. Put a sentry over there and I tumble over there in between those bugs, grab the shielding pylon. That way I don't get one shot for the next minute or 30 seconds or whatever that thing lasts for. And as you can see, I'm constantly keeping my hatred my hatred up so I have enough you know, hatred to spam cluster arrow when I need to. And you know, whenever your physical procs, which is right about now, you can see I just blow this rear pack up. My physical has like a couple seconds left and I'm able to get that rear pack down to about 35% and just matter of like three cluster arrows. 
and that's with me popping vengeance and my companion at the same time and physical is about to come back around so we'll just finish off this ray pack in a couple of seconds so tumbling back around sitting at a distance shooting them with the quest arrow making sure they don't get anywhere near you because if they get near you they're probably going to proc your awareness and then you're going to hit again and you're just going to die luckily i have the shield pile on there just absorb that damage i don't give a fuck I'm going along and minding my own business there's another rare pack I stay at a distance don't let them get anywhere near me and i just inst and i just kill them move on to the next pack all right what i'm doing here i don't know why it's taking me so long some garbage or something just grabbing the orbs Make my way, go up top here, tumble around. That's what you want to do. You want to get away, you want to tumble out. Make sure you always got some discipline, make sure you always got some hatred. Now, you always want to make sure you have enough hatred so when the physical procs on your conventional elements, which you can do an insane amount of damage in that short amount of period of time, they can get about two or three cluster areas off, maybe even four if your timing's right. And then I'm going to kill this rare pack here. I'm going to get the Rift Guardian to spawn. Luckily, we get Saxtris, or Ball Saccharis, or whatever you want to call it. This dude sucks, but luckily as a Demon Hunter, we can just walk around, and we don't even have to look at him, and he pretty much dies. As you see, I'm stacking all the sentries on top of him, so he gets all that damage, that increased damage from chill effects. And we're just blowing him up. Like, it's probably been about, like, 15 seconds, and he's already at half health. So, about probably about the next physical round, we're going to get him down probably about 20%, which is right around here. Get him about 20%. So, you know, we're just making our way, rolling around. And physical is going to proc him probably two more two more rounds. That right after this, we're going to have, we're, he's just going to die. Like, physical, boom, dead. Easy. GGWP. Live. So, um, now we're going to go on to the spells and abilities. What is up, guys? Now we're going to go over the spells and abilities for this Marauder 6 build that we have here. Now we're going to go with our primary left click spell, evasive fire of focus, shoot and spread a, bol a bolt that hits the primary enemy for 200% weapon damage as cold, and two additional enemies for 100% weapon damage as cold. Car as a bow, we're going to do this because it gives a lot of hatred back, you know, 7 hatred, it's a pretty good amount, hits a wide range, you know, it's a good, good spell here. Now because we're using the Marauders build, um, it relies a lot on cluster arrow damage. So that's why we go with this one. It's a physical damage. Why are we going physical? Because I said so. That's why we're going physical. We're not going fire, we're not going anything else. We're going physical for this build. What it does, fire a cluster arrow that explodes for 650% weapon damage. It's physical and releases up to two rockets at nearby enemies that each deal 600% weapon damage as physical. Now, cluster arrow has always had a problem of using a lot of hatred. So it's also something you're going to be careful about. So you got to only know, be sure to line that up with your convention of elements and other high damage ability abilities that are that you can activate. Now, Sentry Polar Station. Now, you may ask, why not go with Spitfire Turret or a Guardian Turret or something like that? Well, because they're going with Coal of the Week. Coal of the Week increases damage against slowed or chilled enemies. Now, Polar Station, the turret chills all nearby enemies within 16 yards, slowing their movement speed by 60%. Because it chills, we get that 20% damage bonus. It's pretty pretty good, pretty good. That's why we go with that here. And also it helps you kite kite mobs away from you. Because you also want to be at a distance the entire time as a demon hunter because you're so fragile, you're gonna get one shot by a lot of stuff. The companion we go with, we go with Wolf Companion, because we get the damage bonus when we activate it. Even though we have the Marta 6 and we get all the pet buffs, you only get the active well, I guess you get the active from all of them, but we're going to go with the Wolf Commanding because it also does a lot of damage, and it can tank stuff for a little bit. Um, Vault Tumble. Now, because they're so fragile, we need something to get out of dodge, right? So we're going to go with Vault Tumble here because whenever we Vault, our next Vault is going to be half the Discipline cost, which is very, very good for us because, you know, like I said, we do need to get away from stuff. We're very fragile. If we don't get away, we're going to die. Vengeance Seath. Why do we go with Seath and not something like Personal Mortar or Dark Heart or something like that? Well, because we get the four additional piercing shots, two rockets that deal 80% weapon damage for every attack, 40% damage, and the Seath we get for the hatred per second. 
And like I said, we don't go with Dark Heart or something else because we're going to go with the Visage of Goons in the queue, which gives us the Dark Heart, which is going to give us the damage reduction on top of getting the Hatred Regen. Now on to the passive skills. We're going to go with Ballistics, increase damage by rockets up to 100%. Now Cluster Arrow is a rocket, which is going to do a significant amount more damage. We also get rockets from our Vengeance from the homing rockets. So we're going to get the 100% more damage. In addition, you have 20% chance to fire a homing rocket for 100% weapon damage when you attack. Which is very good. Coal of the week, like I said before, because we're going with Polar Century, we go with Coal of the week to deal 20% more damage. I believe it does stack, so when you have all five of your centuries up, you get that, that, that damage bonus going. Now Custom Engineering, we get this because it increases the duration of centuries, so we're not, you know, up, down, up, down. We always have them up at all times and you get an additional century as at all at all times so instead of having two centuries off the spell you get three because of that passive awareness like I said we get one shot a lot this is to help us not get one shot and when you take fatal damage you instant vanish for two seconds and regenerate 50% of your maximum life it cannot occur more than every 60 seconds now we're going to go on to your optimization and what you should be rolling on your gear, what type of gear you should be getting. Now we're going to go with the Manticore. The Manticore is, our, is the cluster arrow damage crossbow. And because we're using the Mara 6, we're going to go with cluster arrows. So that's why we go with the Manticore here. You don't have to go with Vitality. You can go with Attack Speed and maybe Cooldown Reduction. But because my gear isn't that good, I'm going to go with the Vitality. To survive better until I get my Tegukes and other stuff up. Now the Bombardier's Rucksack is very good. We need this for this build because we get two additional sentries. Instead of three, we get five. You can have them all at the same time. You can stack them on top of the boss. You get the damage increase. It's very good. Now what you want to get is you want to get a Dex, Attack Speed, Crit Chance, Sentry Damage, Cooldown Reduction, and maybe Resource Cost or something else. Instead of um, Vitality, you could go with Hatred Regen as well. That's also very good. That's actually what I recommend is to get Hatred Regen on your Quiver. Because you can only get it in certain places. So that's why, we, that's why you want to get it here. Now Boots, you want to get Dex, Vitality, All Resist, and Cluster Arrow Damage. Marauder's Pants, you want to get Dex, Vitality, and Armor. There's always a secret, that's that belt that I mentioned before. It's ex it's not exclusive to Season 5, but it came out in Season 5, it's, I believe. It's a brand new belt, and you take 9% less damage for every companion you have active. You know, I don't know how many pets these are, because I can't count. I'm almost like, oh, we're going to go with 5, or 6, or something. I don't, I, I don't want to count, it's too much. Too early, too late, whatever. Now we're going to go with Dex, Vitality, Percent, Life, and Armor here. Now Marauder's Chest, you want to get Dex, Vitality, and I believe Sentry Damage. That's what you can get on here. If you can't get Sentry, get Cluster Arrow. If you can't get Cluster, get Sentry Damage. Marauder's Helm, you want to go with Dex, Crit Chance, and Cluster Arrow Damage. Cooldown Reduction Gem in your Helm. Marauder's Shoulders, you want to go with Dex, Cooldown Reduction, Resource Cost, and Sentry Damage. Gloves, you want to go with Dex, Crit Chance, Crit Damage, Resource Cost Reduction. You want a lot of resource cost reduction so you can hit your cluster arrows a lot more. Because cluster arrow requires a lot of hatred, you want to be able to hit, use that as much as you can. Now you're also asking, what does the Marauder set do? Like, well, what are the passives? Well, if you read right here, your primary skills, such as Elemental Arrow, Chakram, Impale, Multishot, Cluster Arrow, Companions, and Vengeance, deal 600% increased damage for every active century. You're going to have five centuries. That's like 3,000% damage for your cluster arrow. That's pretty crazy. You also, your sentries also deal 300% increased damage and cast elemental arrow, chakram, imperial, multi shot, and cluster arrow when you do. So every time we're going to cast a cluster arrow, they're going to cast a cluster arrow. As well as having all your companions to your side at one time. And maybe ask, well, do we get the pass? Do you get the actives when you? When you activate your wolf companion, yes, you get the actives for everything. You get more. You get the hatred back from the bat. You get damage from the wolf, and I don't know what the hell the other things do. So those are the only two that are really important. 
And now, the Rops of Clarity, those are the, that's another item I was telling you about before. You get the Hatred, or you get, not the Hatred Regen, but the Damage Reduction whenever you use a Hatred Generator. So whenever you're using your Evasive Fire, you get that 35, you get up to 35% damage reduction, and you can have it up at all times, so you're constantly ha taking the reduced damage, is what you're, but, and that's what you're going to want. Now, because we're going with physical, we're going with physical skills on the, sh on the bracers, as long as, as long, as well with dex, vitality, and crit chance. Now, you, you want to get a Hellfire Amulet with a different passive. Um, you want to go with either the four that I showed you earlier, or get one with ambush. If you can't get one with ambush, but you get like custom engineering, put ambush in your passives and, and keep the ambush, the custom engineering on the neck. But you want to go with physical damage, crit chance, crit damage, no decks. That'd be the ideal neck. And then you want to go with focus and restraint, which would be crit chance, crit damage, decks on both, which I do not have here because I'm a shitter. And lastly, uh, gems, you know you're going to go with green gems and basically everything. Green red decks, you want to go 130% crit damage in your bow, um, 2 decks in your pants, 3 decks in your chest, cooldown reduction in your helm. And the legendary gems, you want to go with Tegooks because you gain 4% armor for every stack. You can pretty much keep this up at all times because you're constantly spamming cluster arrow, so it's not really going to fall unless you run out of resource. And then you gain increased damage for three seconds after spending primary resource. If stack was, you know, so high compared to what level your gym is, so you get more damage from the Tegooks, and it's always going to be up because you're constantly going left, right, left, right, or right, left, whatever you're doing. Um, I'm going to go with Zay's Stone of Vengeance. Because we're a Demon Hunter, we're always going to be away from the target, not in on the target. So we get that damage increase. For every 10 yards between you and the enemy, increase at a 50 yards, which is very good, excuse me. And the Bane of the Trap, the secondary procs the primary, so whenever an enemy gets within 15 yards, that reduces the movement speed by 30%, and the enemy's damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects take a percent damage. And because we're running the poor sentry, they're going to be chilled. We're just going to proc your being of the trap. So that's just going to make you do the more damage depending on the level of the gem. Now the last thing to go over is what we're going to put in the cube. We're going to go with Dawn as our weapon because it reduces the cooldown of the Vengeance by 65%. Vengeance is a huge, huge spell for Demon Hunters because of the fact that it gives us the percent, their 40% increased damage. 10 hatred per second and because we're using the vicious of goon so our vengeance gains the effect of dark heart rune we also get the 50 percent damage reduction as well and then lastly we're going to go with conventional elements which basically every class uses you gain that 200 percent increased damage to a single element for four seconds and it rotates and yada 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 physical always comes after lightning so you want to line up you know your vengeance and you know, your, make sure your wolf companion and stuff is ready. So as soon as that physical comes out, you can start dumping out the big deeps. And that's about it, guys. That's it for the six-piece Marauders. Now, if you want to see anything else, such as Crusader or any other wizard or demon hunter sets, or even Barbarian, any class that you want, just comment down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. Thanks for watching.